Alright, I'm gonna play. Oh, let's see. The second blood move is not necessarily something I want to see, but otherwise it looks like the hand is actually pretty capable, so I'll just go ahead and keep. And it's hands like this that make me wish I actually had a hazard in the deck. I'm gonna need to start testing that. Hmm. Waiting, waiting. Come on, what you got on my upkeep? Nothing? Okay. Oh, wait. he was trying to turn on a hand. Okay. Oh, uh, we'll lead Mountain into Relic. Sure, if anybody's smart, they know exactly what we're on, but might as well go right for it. Oftentimes, he's just playing throw one Relic regardless is going to be enough to win games. That was not the mountain we were looking for, so we'll play that. Uh, don't really know what our opponent's on, so I think I don't want to play the Ballista right now. feel like holding up a light Lightning Bolt or Scred is probably better. But at the same time, I don't want the second Red Source, so that could cause an issue. Uh, we're going to use a Relic to Cantrip, depending on what our, our opponent plays here, I think. He fetches. Okay. Yeah, but it resolves. It's a basic force. Okay. Razor Bridge Ticket. Oh, he's playing a combo. Yeah, that's fine. So we're not going to cantrip with the relic. So what we're going to do is we're going to burn this lightning bolt right now. We're going to kill him. Hopefully he exiles it. But we're going to keep this relic around just in case he's actually playing the Azin Company combo. A second relic is also pretty solid. It's worth actually just playing the second relic. I believe this is a company deck, but I haven't really looked at a list for this yet. Uh, it plays this and a new guy, if I remember right. Let's watch your crew. That's fine. The 2 2? Okay. Okay, so we're going to kill that off because that's a value engine. Uh, we're going to make you exile both those cards. Uh, finally drew another land, but it's not exactly what we're looking for. It's actually worthwhile just to play Blood Moon, just to get access to more red mana. Also, cutting our opponent off of white is also pretty nice. Makes the walking bliss just a little bit better. I do. But it really runs it from the flip side. Future spells are cheaper. Yeah, so you finally played a black source right into my Blood Moon, and you played it untapped too, so that means that you're holding up a company, but you're playing a devoted druid. Sure. Oh, he also has a walking ballista. Okay. Hmm. Maybe he's got like two combos? Was it Vizier Remedies, right? Okay. So I think we just played Ballista for two.
We'll just have a bigger ballista than he does. But I don't want to minus the ballista right now. To hit his. We want to get another counter on it. I don't want to. I don't want to ballista his ballista just to have him kill my ballista. Actually, but I've been just smart to do that anyway. Man, we are cutting him off of so much right now. Greater Gargadon? Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting main board option. Uh, he costs 10 mana. As you can... Sacrifice lands artifact creature to remove a time counter from him. He starts with 10, so he can take off immediately 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of them. Ouch. Okay, let's see if we can talk him into tapping out. We're just going to shoot his ballista. See if we can force him into playing company. No, okay. We're going to deal one damage to my Ballista. Okay. So we will deal one damage to him. I think we're going to actually ex start exiling cards out of my graveyard too, that, just in case he plays Tarmogoy. to play almost as if we have something like Goblin Dark Dwellers in our deck, so we're just going to hit that. My turn. Anger. Okay. But you can't. Oh, you can. Not a mana ability, though. You don't have enough green mana. I know what you want to do. You want to tap him to put a minus one, minus one counter on him. There you go. Now he's going to get a selfless spirit. He already shut off his own combo by doing that, though, so I'm fine with this. Zero infirmities, so he's not going to grab that. If he grabs that, it dies to the anger. He has to be grabbing a selfless spirit, though, otherwise, why would he even cast a cork for three? Maybe he just picks up a wall of roots. A kitchen fix. That's fine. Sure. Anger resolves. Good job. Honestly, he would have been better off just not even do using the cord. That's a 9 7, right? That's a nice done. Eric resolves. We need to start digging for lands and a scred. Yeah, he finally figured out what he can do.
Can make the graveyards now. Tap the scrying sheet always. We're going to be working in pithing needles in game two for sure. Because we do not want that to come anything like that to come down early and name devoted druid as well to show off that combo. Thing is he proved to us that he's playing an Abzan company combo as well. Infinks. Yeah, sure, you can hit for one. Obviously, it didn't really draw anything besides that land, so bring to draw card. What counters is that? Seven. Uh, land is nice, but I want to draw another card. At this point, we're just not even going to play around a combo. He's nowhere near it. We can use Batter Skull as a chump blocker at least. So there's that. Yes. And we'll just cast a relic because apparently we like we really like to draw all four of the relics. One, two, three, four, yeah. That thing's definitely coming down next turn. Sure. We just passed the turn. It's got four counters now. Sure. Trip. Thank you. We're going to swing both at them. Here you can block the batter skull. Four counters. Actually functioning pretty well under this blood movement it's because no higher can force the yeah, you can sacrifice the kid fang, so you should have done that at the end of my turn though. Sure. Sure, I'm fine with this. You can't beat the better skull. A Squatch Recruiter, okay. Continue over extend, please.
The batter skull value plan. Good. Aw. And we'll just pass the turn. I'm going to leave up enough mana to bounce this batter skull. We have plenty of life, right? Not too concerned about him just beating me down. I also have four minutes of clock advantage on him. Or you can play another one. You need to tap your noble hierarch for white mana. I figured that much out finally. Future Fangs comes back with no counters on, so might as well try to keep the cost. Right, so we're not gonna draw any more blood mans. Man, he keeps drawing all of them. There we go. Oh, and a little bit of life. Like a top three cards, you get a creature. 
Sure. Now he has all four of them. Good job, opponent. <laughs> Grabs and companies, just a giant box. He looks pinnacle. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. On the bright side, it looks like every single one of his common pieces is two drops. So we're bringing Pithy Needle and all the Ratchet Bombs. Drawing an anger off the top of Doctor would be pretty good right now too. He is not going to attack. This is actually optimal for me. Because he doesn't have flying, does he? Probably he's going to, if he's he probably will start pumping up the close man. Okay, Battle Skull. Yeah, it's after. Play this mindset that we're probably going to be can tripping at the end of our turn. Sure. You're in devoted roots and I have infinite mana. Good job. I'm totally expecting an Emrakul next turn. We're gonna use Pia to actually shoot that noble hierarch. Got him on a two turn clock. I'll lock here and take. Sure. I know. That will enter, has a counter on it. Got one, two, three, five, six, seven. Yeah, four artifacts. So I got five, six, seven, eight, nine. I play Koth, I'm left with five minus Koth for two. Five plus nine. I need all the mana to kill my opponent right now. But not another thing. Yeah, I can kill my opponent right now. Yay, mana!
Good thing I didn't sacrifice that mine soon. I was actually planning to, but I forgot completely about. Now you're at two. And I win. Spin the wheel, see what we got. <laughs> Want, 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 want. My uh, eternal scourge is going to be pretty decent. I need to fix that image issue. Uh, I don't know how this even got in here. I need to cut four cards. He doesn't play flyer, so Storm Breath Dragon is going to be great for actually pushing out damage. I don't think I brought out any of the top end. I want to keep the angers because he is playing a graveyard based combo. Uh, relics are kind of necessary. Maybe I don't want Eternal Scourge. I'm going to assume he's going to have a, like a core firewalkers. So I really don't want to pick that out quite yet. So, just mine stones. Exactly isn't really an issue. Matchup for Koth, so we'll take. Can I take both of them? Yeah, I think I, I think I just take out two cards. Oh, he quit. Okay. Well, interesting deck to play against for sure. <laughs>